Mastering English. Connect the dots with coordinating conjunctions. Hello, language learners. Today we're going to dive deep into the exciting world of sentence structure. Specifically, we'll explore how we can connect independent clauses using coordinating conjunctions. This is a powerful tool that will help you build more complex and interesting sentences in English. Let's get started. First, let's clarify what an independent clause is. It's a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, and it can stand alone as a sentence. For example, John reads a book. Or, the cat is sleeping. Now, let's get to know our friends, the coordinating conjunctions. These are words that connect equal parts of a sentence, whether those are words, phrases, or independent clauses. In English, there are seven coordinating conjunctions, and they can be remembered with the acronym FANBOYS. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Each has a different use, and we'll discuss them in the next section. The real magic happens when we start connecting independent clauses with coordinating conjunctions. This allows us to build more complex sentences and express more sophisticated ideas. Here's how you do it. 1. And adds one clause to another. I like pizza, and I love pasta. 2. But shows contrast. I want to go outside, but it's raining. 3. Or presents an alternative. We could watch a movie, or we could read a book. 4. Nor connects two negative ideas. I don't eat meat, nor do I eat fish. 5. For gives a reason, it's a bit formal and less common. He was happy, for he had won the game. 6. Yet introduces a contrast or exception. It's more formal. She is very young, yet she is incredibly wise. 7. So indicates a result or effect. It was late, so I went to bed. Remember, when connecting two independent clauses with a coordinating conjunction, you should use a comma before the conjunction. And there you have it, language enthusiasts. By using coordinating conjunctions to connect independent clauses, you can create complex sentences that enrich your English speaking and writing. Keep practicing with these conjunctions and soon they will become a natural part of your English communication. Remember, learning a language is a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to fluency. Happy learning!